Good afternoon everyone, this is Chris with the 365. Today is July 5th and that is a significant date for me because today is my birthday and you may be wondering why I'm telling you this. So approximately, uh, actually exactly 48 years ago in Fort Gordon Army Base in Augusta, Georgia I was born. That just so happens to be a year after the Oroville Dam was completed. The Oroville Dam was compu completed um, May 4th, 1968. So we, the dam and I, we are about the same age. So right now, I'm walking in the restored Riverbend Park. As you can see behind me, there's one of the pavilions. They have taken, taken the all the benches that were once in the water are overrun with uh, rock and they have moved those out of the water. And while I was gone in Barbados, uh, about 160 or, or more volunteers came here and cleaned up the park. Riverbend Park is back open. I am so proud to be from Oroville when I hear that kind of news. I was 3,500 miles away and I hear of the generosity of uh, all the volunteers and how the communities come together to open this park back up. And it actually looks very nice. Uh, there's a lot of services that aren't working. The bathrooms aren't working. They have been toilets for that. Um, all the pavilions actually made it through fairly unscathed, so that's great. Um, but what is important is that the river's flowing in a nice, calm level past here, and that uh, you, we now have access to it all along this entire park. So I haven't been here long enough to reinvestigate all the areas that I've reported from before, but I will definitely be doing that over the next few days. I would love to tell you the uh, river levels right now, but the um, river level indicator is actually off. So that is that it's off on the internet, so I can't read that to you right now. But what I can do is I can come down here and show you what the river looks like right now. Talk about what a difference a few months makes. So I'm gonna pan you around here. So this entire gravel field, all of this, this was all completely underwater all the way up to those um, stairs that you can see back there completely underwater uh, all this rock had has been moved from the riverbed to this area here and that was from one or more of the three or four flows depending on how you count it that uh, uh, that the dam let out so but now you can see we have a beautiful waterfront where you can go swim. So the it just so happens that the um, dock is gone. It has been moved downstream quite a ways. And so that isn't back yet, but people are swimming over there. All the pavilions seem to be open. All of the, all of the um, stuff you can play on that is all for the kids is open. None of the water features are open, which is a bummer. You have to bring your own water. You'll have to make sure that you use the bend toilets if you're here. But overall, we've got a River Bend Park back. And I think that that is a major milestone in recovery of this town from the Orville Dam spillway crisis. I'm, like I said, I am so proud that I was out of town and I heard this um, via the internet when I was in Barbados, I bragged to everybody when I was down there. I'm so proud of this town. I'm so proud of how you guys have done and everything that you guys have done to get to this point and all the stuff I know you guys will still do and your patience and your kindness to each other and your patience with the DWR and all the officials and there's gonna be a long process of trying to get money back for all this and stuff. Just be patient, be kind to each other. Like I said in uh, my Barbados report, which you will read, pro which, I'm sorry, which you will hear in probably uh, a day or two here uh, you'll hear that I found the people of Barbados to be very forgiving and uh, friendly and that is how I feel about you all you guys so it is great to be back I can't wait to go up and down this entire water complex and see the changes that have happened in the past three uh, weeks and bring those all to you uh, you probably did hear that my drone took a watery death I'm in process of replacing that and finding a temporary replacement in between so I'll be flying in the next couple days we'll get you some overhead videos of all these places as they've recovered I'm planning on going to the dam next week to see how that looks from there and we'll just get you 
you a lot more news. So as always, like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for everybody who put a birthday wish on my Facebook page, on the 365's Facebook page. I'm overwhelmed by the number of people and how nice you guys are all to me. That is amazing. And I will see you guys all tomorrow and the day after that and the day after that and the day after that. So thank you very much. I'm so happy to be back. Thank you for watching. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.